Gentlemen and monsters of all ages, today I bring you one of the most simply effective builds that I've ever presented. A build that has no business doing the damage it can do, and it is all accomplished through one thing. So I have one question for you all. EXPLOSIONS?! If the answer is yes, then prepare to feast your eyes on the king of explosions, all packed into a tiny little weapon called bow. Now, it may not be the Kelby bow, but trust me, this thing packs one hell of a Bracadios level punch. So without further ado, my timid little tulips, I present to you a build that I like to call Explosibo. Explosibo! Don't know what it's about, but it's good to go. Starting off with why this build exists and what makes it worth playing, followed by what the build itself actually is, and then the playstyle to adopt while using the build. When it comes to why this build even exists, then the answer is simple. People like it when things explode. So, how can we create the most blast procs possible? And I do mean the most blast procs possible, as here you've seen us getting 8 procs within a 60 second window from first engaging the monster. If that doesn't sound impressive, let me relabel that as 2400 damage. That is 2400 damage on top of the the damage the arrows themselves are also doing. The burst of this build is absolutely insane, but what is even more insane is how many procs this build continues to get deep into the hunt when monsters have significantly higher blast thresholds. It may be surprising to learn that this build is actually pretty damn good too, especially for mid-tier hunters. Now as much as we all hate to admit it, some of us aren't that great at the game, we struggle occasionally, it's, it's just a thing. I'm offering you a build that is capable of killing an elder dragon in under 20 minutes minutes, even through two feints, an uncountable number of missed arrows just in general, and an even larger number of grade damage numbers from missing the weak points. Yes, I am saying that sometimes I am trash, and this build is totally okay with that, because even when you do hit gray points, with blast numbers this high, you'll still be getting constant blast procs until the moment that the monster dies. <laughs> Moving on to the build itself, then we'll start off as usual with the weapon. As we are looking for a blast upon blast build, the only options here are blast bows, and considering the skills that we want won't be having any spare room for free element, which leaves us with two usable bows, and either the Brachidios bow or the Lunastra slash Energiva bow. Given the context of the rest of the build, the augmentability of the weapons, the raw attack difference, the affinity difference, and of course just the overall quality of the build once the weapon is involved, considering that the Brachidios bow doesn't even get power coding in the first place, we've gone with the Lunastra slash Zenojiva bow, which while at lower blast status, then Bracky becomes extremely comparable when you augment it as we have, with the full three ranks of element slash status up. And also, it looks pretty. Am I a pretty girl? Moving on to the equipment itself and the skills that we use, it becomes super clear what makes this build work. First up, the Gold Rathian Forset bonus of true critical status. This simply buffs the crap out of your ability to apply status as long as you are hitting critical attacks, which we plan to do frequently. Second is Coalition. Lessons, which is a totally new skill for Iceborne that some of you might not be totally acquainted with still. But when you recover from a Blight or Abnormal status, meaning literally any of the effects a monster can put on you, from Fire Blight to Ice Blight, all the way up to literally STUN, you see magic. Got it. You gain a large attack buff, a large element attack buff, and status build up plus 15% for 90 seconds. That last one is the focus of today, that extra 15% status build up. That is really, really ridiculously effective. Filling in the decorations then, this set starts to come together quite nicely, and as a whole, the set comes with 7 critical eye, which is 40% of our affinity, 4 blast attack, which heavily buffs our blasting ability, 3 health boost, 3 critical boost, as we plan to be hitting a lot of crits, 3 Weakness Exploit for another 50% of our affinity, with the final 10% coming default on the weapon, so we have a total of 100% affinity. We have 3 Divine Blessing as a pretty welcome byproduct of reaching Gold Rathian 4 set, 3 Coalescence, 2 Resentment also just as a byproduct of the set, Spread Slash Power Shots as we will be using Spread Shots, and we also have Fortify and Affinity Sliding simply due to my Jewel Collection. Razor Sharp from the bow itself, we of course have the Gold Rathian set bonus, and we have Blast Functionality and a single rank of Agitator hidden away in our Impact Mantle. The second 
second mantle you should use is of course apothecary as you want maximum status possible Clever girl. now a couple of quick notes here my jewel collection isn't perfect by any means as having two more expert plus jewels which is just double critical eye would leave me with an open three slot and an open two slot both of which could be chock full of agitator however agitator only affects the overall damage of the build and has nothing to do with the blast portion so if your jewel collection is like mine you are still totally capable of creating the part of this build that matters most now there isn't really anything that i can show you on the training post of this build so let's go out and mess around with the living training post himself great jagras well that's just like uh your opinion, man. Generally speaking, your playstyle with this build will be a lot like a normal elemental bow. Normal combos, as much dashing as you can, really genuinely just normal. However, both of your mantles change the entire fight and are available pretty consistently. So when you first walk up to a monster, you want to try to find the safest possible way to get a debuff. Whether that's getting caught on fire for a brief moment, or in the case of this poor little lizard, getting stunned. <laughs> now, with most debuffs, you can remove it yourself with something like a Nullberry, which allows you to tenderize the monster immediately before activating Koala essence however stun is very automatic so you either have to tenderize before you get stunned and plan for it or accept a little bit of a loss of a damage window and tenderize afterwards but before you put on any mantles you need to tenderize the face as that's where a lot of your crit comes from once the stun is over coalescence will activate which gives you a 90 second massive damage window you put on your apothecary mantle and start blasting away at the monster's face with a slightly different combo than you would normally use status is applied on a per arrow basis meaning the speed of your attacks only matters if the attacks you are using fire multiple arrows at once. The most efficient number of arrows per time is the circle R2 circle combo, which translates to spread shot, normal shot, spread shot, and then just let go of left trigger real quick, aim back in and repeat. You want to spam this combo at the tenderized monster part for the entirety of the mantle duration. And if you do, you'll see proc after proc after proc of blast. It's just, it's so constant. This thing is just absolutely nuts when it lines up well. You're gonna love my nuts. This sequence allows the maximum number of blast procs to be produced by this build and you can actually do this sequence anytime either of your mantles is available our impact mantle has blast code in it so if you put that on after activating coalescence and then equip your blast coatings you are essentially just as effective at causing blasts as you would be in your apothecary mantle but you also gain the bonus of stuns which you'll actually have happen as well and again outside of mantles this build just plays like a normal bow set that gets some blast procs but when you are in those mantles the monster might as well be an explosion and yeah i know the blast procs get harder to build as you get throughout and throughout a hunt but this build still consistently produces procs up until the moment a monster dies we have so much blast generation here that the increased resistance the blast that a monster gains just doesn't matter that much so what it comes down to as a whole is a surprisingly normal bow build with the extra bonus of playing around with abnormal statuses and blights and massive explosive windows for applying ridiculous amounts of blast with your mantles and between how much fun it is and just how effective it actually is at killing monsters this set is an absolute beauty all right everyone i've been cotton dinosaur and this has been the explosivo sets did you like this build what weapons or playstyles would you like to see us mess around with next like if you liked the video subscribe to the notification bell for more and most importantly ladies and gentlemen until next time stay sweet this is the brand new outro to tell you all the things that you do that we love so let's start with something simple and say oh we love your eyes when they're watching us play video games when we make a bunch of jokes that are kind of lame or when they gaze upon our failures as we try to kill the monsters or important important news about the kingdom and amelia rage cotton and hollow are all here talking about the things you want to hear so if you want to be the first to hear like and subscribe and the bell and we'll cheer some of you are patrons even though we are all the noobs and you're the pros there's nothing we can do to thank you no really there's nothing Nothing we could possibly do. Goodbye.